So our first step, is it a waste? The way we mean it. Wastes can be used or unused. Those that are used are probably the ones that you most commonly think of. Take, for instance, this parts washer, one of the most common waste streams that any generator creates. Parts washer is like a kitchen sink. It's got a reservoir of a cleaning material, a solvent, and a spigot that sprays that liquid out. So you take your dirty part and you wash it underneath the spigot until one day you reach a point where you say, you know what? This stuff doesn't work anymore. At that point, it becomes spent. It's been used to the point where it can't do its job any longer. And you've determined it's a waste. Some other examples here, dirty thinner, it's used to the point where you can't continue to use it. We have a picture of some lead-based paint chips. They're not gonna do their job anymore. They are used wastes. But now add to that, there are some wastes that have never been through a process, have never been used. Maybe you're walking through your laboratory and you open up a cabinet and you come across these containers of, of unknown chemicals and the crystals are all around the lid because it's so old and so broken down. Well, probably you'd agree that that would be a waste. Likewise, this picture on the right, you have a container of a chemical that's been stored in a damp basement for so long it's been ignored to the point where now the bottom is rusted away and the chemical is spilling onto the floor. These things are unused, but they're still wastes. You are never going to use them. No steps have been taken up till now to get rid of them. Sometimes though, these unused wastes don't look so ugly. They look perfectly good. Maybe you have expired chemicals. This happens a lot with the retail sector where you have materials that you can no longer sell on the store shelves and you have to treat them as waste. But in a manufacturing facility, the same can happen. Maybe a salesperson brings you this new product to try and they tell you, oh, it's gonna be wonderful, you're gonna love it. You try it and then you find out, you know what? It doesn't do it for you. Well, if you leave that material around, don't try to find another owner for it, don't try to find another use, don't try to dis dispose of it or return it to the vendor, you probably got an unused waste. Some other unused wastes, uh, you've just made a decision. We don't do this process anymore, so we know these materials are to get rid of. We just, we're not gonna hang on to them any longer. You've made that decision. Places where you might find unused materials include that box underneath the engineer's desk. You know those new experiments they were running to see if we could make something work right? Well, maybe the stuff that they purchased to do that prototype are still kicking around, forgotten. So that's our first step. Is it a waste? Second step, is this ex specifically exempted from regulation? In our rules, there are some materials that we say we just aren't going to regulate as hazardous waste. They may be waste, they may be hazardous waste, but maybe it's a material that some other program already regulates very strictly, and we don't need to consider it under our rules. It would just make it even more difficult to handle the material. Or, it's a waste that's very recyclable. It's very recyclable and we call it a hazardous waste. Maybe suddenly it becomes so regulated, so difficult to handle this material that it doesn't actually get recycled. Not an end result that we want. Just a couple of examples might be scrap metal. You may have scrap metal I-beams that have some lead-based paint on it. Well, the lead could make it hazardous, but we really want to see that scrap metal get recycled. So we exempt it from regulation. Another is empty containers. I think you would agree a container that's empty shouldn't be regulated as hazardous waste. The question is, when is it completely empty enough to call empty for our rules? So we have exemptions that describe that. 
Here's a, just a heading of where you find the exemptions. In the rules, if you were to go to that link, in chapter 400, the actual citation is ENV HW 401.03, exemptions. And there are five, six pages that you should become familiar with and find out if any of those exemptions apply to you. Some are very simple to understand, some may require a little more study, you can always contact us to ask questions and help you clarify what it is that you're looking at. All right, that's our second step. We looked at, is it a waste? We looked at, is it specifically exempted?